Welcome back, or I should say, welcome to Metroid Prime Hunters. Oh, careful about that online play. Two years after the game released, or after the demo released, the game finally got released, and they made they made some changes, they made some tweaks, listen to feedback and all that, see what worked and what didn't. And, uh, canonically, this comes after Metroid Prime 1, but this actually comes... This, this, this was released after Metroid Prime 2 but before hmm. Metroid Prime 3. Weird. So, it kind of feels more like Metroid Prime 1 in some aspects, but in, in, uh, in seriousness, this is, its, this is its own kettle of fish. It's a side cool that takes its own identity. Sort of. So we have Silux here. He, he, I don't know what he is, but that's he just does stuff. We've got Weevil. He's a cybernetic space pirate. He's, you know, he's like a space pirate. Probably one of the guys who survived from Talon 4 or was off base or something like that. Looks like the Predator, almost. Seems like a bad guy. The uh, Noxus, Noxus. <laughs> who is a Voson. I think he was in Kingdom Hearts 4. We got Trace, which is a Crykid from the Crykid Empire. Oh my. I think I played him in Overwatch. We got Spire, big ol' rock dude. <laughs> he's, a, he's a big tower. He's big ol' rock dude. Wow! I do like the designs of these guys. Especially him. These are the uh, eponymous hunters we're dealing with here. Oh really? We and then Kanden here. I thought that said Caden. I was who, like, and who, then some normal dude. Who was from a sinister laboratory. Oh. Yeah, that it just exploded. So he must be bad then. Yeesh. And of course we got uh, this chick. Who? Uh, Samus Aran. Never heard of her. Uh, I, I, I heard she blew up a, a place in, it's called Zibs or whatever. You know, something oh, about, really? something about Metroids and, uh, uh, I, I heard something about something called Talon 4. What she sounds kind of like a jerk, that? actually. I don't know, but, you know, I mean, this is a pretty decorated, but, you know, maybe she'll be onto something. Wow. Maybe she can prove herself. This is Metroid Prime Hunters! Let's get started. I saw that developed by Nintendo. Yep, this uh... is... It's totally developed by Nintendo. This is only special thanks to Retro Studios. I noticed that too, yeah. yeah. That's the practice one I'm using. And uh, we'll just go ahead and start a new uh, a new slot here. Here we go. Here we go, DS Metroid. Felt bad having to delete my save from many years, but... It, it's okay. It wouldn't have mattered. It lives on in your Let's heart. get started. The secret's ultimate power lies in the Alembic Cluster. So that sounds bad. This repeating neural thread, originating from an uncharted region of the Tetra Galaxy, known as the Alembic Cluster, was recently intercepted and translated by Federation Empaths. Huh. Uh, one, so, one, discover the meaning, the, the uh, true meaning behind this mysterious telepathic message. If the ultimate power can be secured, do so. Call Kirby. And if the power cannot be secured, ensure that it remains secret or destroy it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I get it. You know, Wait. super powerful thing uh, somewhere in some armpit of the universe mm -hmm. might destroy the universe, might not. Go find out, make sure it doesn't. If it does, kill it. If it doesn't, kill it. Because all those hunters that we saw in that in that movie clip, they want it. Uh, they heard about that too. So, and I don't think a lot of them have the, uh, have the best interests of humanity or the Federation in mind. So, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna be the goodies, we're gonna go on behalf of the Federation, we're still, we're still in their good graces. They're really, they're really happy with what we did on Talon 4. They're like, oh man, Sam is Sarah. man, she's great. So, hey, ultimate power, I think she can handle it. It's just, you know, we'll go investigate, you know, you're in the air in the air, you can go check it out, can't you? You know, sure, no problem. I think so. I located Mewtwo. There it is. So the thread's coming from here, the Celestial Archives. Cerulean Caves. Kind of move these sliders around with oh, the touch screen weird. there. That's yeah. weird. Let's go! Kick down the door. Hello, Hunters! So already the UI looks a little different. Morph Ball's on the right for some reason. Morph Ball's on the right, just because it, you know, when you think about where the hand is placed, ah. kind of makes sense. Uh, you can press the center thing there for your missiles. Oh my god, that's... that's... It's a little weird, and to make matters worse, at the bottom there... Mm-hmm. ...is our scan visor. This has its own specific logbook, and I'm gonna try and scan as many things as I can, but there is no possible way I can get everything because a lot of these log notes aren't really written that well 
they're, they're, they're all, most of them are like one or two uh, pages of just, you know, like, borderline just, just, you know, not nonsense stuff. A lot of them don't really matter so much. It doesn't count to anything, but, you know, we'll get what we can. Okay. This already seems like a nightmare to play sometimes. It's, yeah, so... It's, it's inconsequential. It doesn't matter if we get everything or not. It does seem extremely fast, though. Because there's less stuff to load. Yeah. Dang. There's, there's, the, 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 the logs aren't as detailed, they don't go into as much world building, it's just kinda... This is a thing, it's what it does. Or, here's a thing that was destroyed by something. Or, look at this. Speaking of destroyed by something, special thanks to Retro Studios. Thanks for making us a format that we could just crumble up and throw away. Not saying this is an utter failure, I'm saying you can definitely tell who's got the know-how when it comes to Metroid Prime. it make you think this is a bad game. Really, it's not. It's just kind of there. It, it kind, really, it depends on... Can you... Can, can you forgive the controls on the DS? If you can, then you'll be fine. If you can't, well, then you're not going to have a good time. This is kind of like our tutorial, essentially. Okay. Scan the door to open it. Mm-hmm. That red mark means that the door is locked for something. Please, retinal scan. Take off your helmet. No. Oh, forced encounter. Da 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 da. Oh, they're just like drones. Little little drones. What are they? Da, they fire. Met drones. These are psycho bits. <laughs> Version 1.0. This is another thing that this game does. They reuse a lot of enemies. This is a very, very small, small game. So it works a, lo a little bit differently than most Metroid games do. Hmm. You know... I'm gonna give this one a chance. Because I see there's... there's some love somewhere. They, did, they didn't just shit this out like they did with Other M or Federation Force. They, they really tried. This was supposed to be like a killer app of the DS. And right. I don't think it did terribly, I, but... I think I remember seeing this in magazines. Like, it looked really cool, from what I remember. They put Metroid on the DS. They put they put all of Metroid Prime on the DS, and it's... You yeah, know. I'll, I'll give Nintendo that. A lot of games that you don't think will even make it onto a handheld console end up making it onto a handheld console, and it's... You know, results may vary, but it's still cool to see that, you know, it's Metroid Prime on the DS. That's... that's basically what, what it is, but, you know. We've got a remake of Metroid 2 on the 3DS. It's fantastic. See, a lot of these blog notes are like, Here, here's what this is. Yeah, Petrasil. I don't... That, I don't know what they are, though. It's like a dinosaur flower. They, like, they look like Metroids, but they're not Metroids. Like, like, what what are they? Are they just, like, someone's pet that, like, exploded and then it's floating in the fucking... Like... Maybe it's just, like, a stereotypical animal that sits in the windowsill. You know, somebody's Petrasil. Hmm. Oh, can't open that. I need missiles for that! That Petrasil back there will keep respawning. Ah, so keep until shooting you figure it, it out. Until you get some missile ammo. Okay, so the design is still there. Yeah, this is this is basically your tutorial. This is the game just kind of telling you how how the rest of the game is going to go. Because this isn't your typical go to a place and you know you know uh, wander around and unlock a uh, you know areas or whatever. Unlock it's, it's, one thing, continue on to the next. So it's is different. this is this more linear? Would you say? I'd say it's more linear. Yeah, compared to Prime. Not strictly linear, but. More linear. And that transmission says that, uh, there's somebody here. So one of the hunters who's also looking for, th for, uh, whatever it is they're looking for, is also here. Oh, if this is one out of, what, five that we saw? Man, this is gonna be a quick game. Oh, this is the multiplayer example, isn't it? No, nah, it's just... Alright, so, uh... Artifacts. Alembic Artifacts. You have to... Alright, so... Explain. 
each each area or portion of the game, yeah, has three Olympic artifacts. There's like a, 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 a cartograph uh, artifact, a, a tunuator artifact, and like something else. Mm -hmm. Different types of artifacts. You get all three of them. It opens up a stronghold portal. The stronghold portal takes you to a boss. Okay. You kill the boss, and then that's basically one eighth of the game done. Oh my god, one eighth. <laughs> yeah, you were telling me this game was. Uh, this is an itty bitty little yeah, game. That's why. That's why they uh, leaned on the multiplayer a bit more. I guess they couldn't fit more. They, 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 they did a lot on here. They, they took the DS to its maximum graphical capabilities, I think. Awesome. See, I love hearing about that. So this is a shield key. Whenever there's uh, one of these things, you get a shield key and it gets rid of it. That's how we get this first artifact. Honestly, compared to a lot of the other games on the DS, this looks really good. It's, it's not bad. Hold. Door. There we go. Alright, door's opening. I like how they uh, show where Samus is and zoom over to the door, so... That's handy. You kind of know where to turn. It's like, okay, I go to the left and there's a door. Hey, look at that! Oh, God! It also doesn't help that a lot of the doors look exactly the same. So I'm glad they did that. There is a map that's on the pause screen, but... Oh, okay. So what's that down there? That's just your visor, right? Yeah, down there, that's, that's your radar, really. Oh, radar. Okay. Is that a missile tank? That was just a missile, uh, ammo. Ammo, okay. Down here, though. Ah. To uh, enter, uh, enter Morph Ball mode, because there's places you can go in Morph Ball mode. You ever played a Metroid game before? Well, if not, here you go. Thanks. I mean, I was already in Morph Ball mode, so it's, it's fine. E-Tank hey! acquired! Oh, one of, like, three, maybe? Not very many. Yeah. I was about to say, if it actually filled out that whole energy line, it's like, damn! Let me, let me get the stats. Oh, because we here, really here we do go. we really do not have a lot here. I am Look, serious. A lesser Ithrak. Sounds like something from Star Fox Adventures. Ow. We have nine missile upgrades. <laughs> but, but they give you ten each, so that's 90 missiles. Uh, oh, okay. So, 100 missiles, uh, 95 missiles total. You have seven E-Tanks. Seven E-Tanks? And universal ammo upgrades, we have 12 of. 12 upgrades. So 12 plus 9 plus, what'd you say, 7? 12 seven plus 9 plus 7. Okay, so 16 plus 12, that's 28 collectibles. In total. That that's hilarious. That doesn't count for the artifacts, though, because that's just basically one key to unlock the boss. Right, right, right. Damn! Uh, no. So platforming is as good as ever, I see. First-person platformer? Uh, I have found that looking down while jumping helps. You'll be able to figure out where to land better. So It's, it's easier to do in this game when you can just, you know, look down, compared right. to in Prime, where you have to press a couple buttons and then look down, and then yeah. th it does, doesn't work. It doesn't work as good. So I have a question for you. Uh-huh. Mr. Metroid Expert. Yes! Are you using a guide? Or are you relying on past knowledge? I am using a guide? While I roadmap, and then when I record here, I use past knowledge. Okay. R so. Really, again, I'm not focusing on getting all the log notes entries. It's maddening, and who the fuck are you? What's so, up? That's Condon. That's the guy from the Sinister Laboratory who blew it up. Well, time to kill him. He's gonna blow this place up. I can't let him do that. We need this place. There's stuff here we need. Wait, how do you know he's gonna blow it up? Guess what he does! That's what I would do! So that's all he does. He just blows up buildings. I only blow shit up when I'm done with them. <laughs> I still need this place. Please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. Does he stay in snaky form the entire time? There's a missile expansion. Oh, that's how you get that missile. Okay. I thought you had to go the other way. All right, got it. Anyway, now, time to stop. Who is it, Caden? Canden, I think. Candace? Caden. Canada. Can this dick fit in your mouth? <laughs> ha! Well, oh yeah, I can actually, I can fit uh, a, a lot of things in my mouth, because that's not that big. Like my fist. Oh wow, what a tiny fist you have. <laughs> like my words. It's like, it's, it's like a dum-dum sucker. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a little stick and a little, little Fear ball. Fear me in my little fist. A little, little stick and a ball at the end. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. 
There was a docked ship. That was Candon. Candon's not exactly one of the good bounty hunters because he's like probably evil and shit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Him with the ultimate power is probably not going to be a good thing. Is there a charge beam in here? Yes. Oh, oh, yep, right there. I was wondering if it worked exactly the same as Metroid Prime's. What is cool about, well, I guess interesting about this Metroid game is that Samus does not lose her abilities. Oh my god, Nintendo actually made the game where she doesn't lose all of her abilities? She loses her suits and her missiles and upgrades and all that. But she still has Morph Ball, she still has Bomb, she has Missiles, she has Charge Beam. That's amazing. I think she even still has various suits. The lesser liked Metroid game is the one where she actually doesn't lose her abilities. This is an average one. Nope, oh, Snake again. Shoot Snake. The Snake is not friend. <laughs> Well, yeah, I gotta scan them. I, I hate the scanning feature because you have to scan them twice. Because it's meant to be multiplayer, each hunter has, you know, a, a, a regular standing form and also a <clears throat> morph oh, ball form. Great. So I have to scan them twice. See, I gotta scan them again. All right, let's find out more about you, guy. D As we jump up and down. Disruptive <laughs> electromagnetic field appears to surround the voltage. Oh, electricity. Oh, he's got the Volt Driver. So, yeah. So this Metroid game is maybe not so much like Metroid Prime, maybe not so much like Super Metroid, but you know what it's kind of like? Weirdly enough, Mega Man. Yeah. I can see that. So you get their power-ups. Because the, the weapons you get in this game are the power-ups that the other hunters use. Each has their own weakness, each has their own correspondence. The final boss, if you want to get the true ending, revolves around using proper, you know, weapons and all that. That's kinda awesome. So, really, these are robot masters, not so much hunters. I saw that headshot. Yep. Going for that FPS feel. Although we don't have any, like, 360 no-scoping in here. A certain type of person would probably find enjoyment in this, you know. Just ah! What, what, one who likes shooters would probably feel at home here. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. Well, let me ask you, what do you think of it? Well, uh, having... I last played this in high school. And that was, like, a million years ago. But being a guy who has played more shooters in his day, both good and bad, and co coming back to this, while the DS controller gets a little strange, it's, it's not bad. I mean, you know, it's it's certainly interesting to play, Good. but you're not gonna like what like lose anything if you don't play if you if you skip this one. Oh, okay. Like, there's no lore that you can only get in this game. Not not really, no. But it's it's you know, I got a soft spot for it. It doesn't fill me with revile, you know, like with re with revulsion and hatred like, like like other M does. It doesn't make me scratch my head and go, why the fuck did they do this? Like Federation Force does. It, does. it doesn't make me go, wow, this is old and bad, like Metroid Two. See, I enjoy soft spot games. I've got a few of those in my arsenal. I like them. She's like, oh yeah, I liked that game when I played it. There's our second artifact oh, right here. I tolerated that game when I played it. This is an atometer artifact. Okay. Just the second of three artifacts that we need. So did we actually steal his power? Not yet, no. Okay. We scared him off, we didn't kill him. Oh, okay, because I thought he just, like... It, it wasn't, like, destruction as any blew up. I think he more, like, disassociated. It's like, all right, out of here, bye! Jeez, lady! This Chozo lady's really strong, I can't... Oh, what's can't that? do it. Olympic turret. Version 1.0. So anyone who's not Olympic will get fired at. <laughs> Are you Olympic? Nah, I'm no Olympian. Then perish! <laughs> I mean, I got a couple of Olympic medals. A couple of alloys. I like that. Ugh, more place to jump. Alright, so... This is interesting. The ship deck portal. There are no save rooms in this game. What? There are no save rooms in this game. What? None at all! The only place you can save... Is your ship. Is your ship. So that's why they have the ship portals, so if you feel like you really need to, you can just, you know, pop back there, because we're getting close to the end of level here. Gotta find- we just gotta find that third artifact, and then we're ready to go. It's so interesting to hear you say 
almost finished with this level in this Metroid game. Mm hmm Yeah. We got a locked door. Just more scanning. There's the Northwest Power Conduit. Followed by... The There's the Northeast Power northeast, Conduit. Yeah. Cool. And There's the Southeast, southeast Power Conduit. And the Southwest. And there's the conduit. South by Southwest. It, what? Oh, I, okay, whatever, I guess. Well, I scan them all. What more do you want? So this is our stronghold uh, portal, basically. When we get all of the artifacts, that will open up and we can go to the boss. Oh, okay. There's a shield key. Directly in front of the shield? Okay, cool. I'm glad they didn't do an animation for that. Right, my bad, that's just our uh, artifact there. Olympic artifact. All right, so we got all three artifacts. We have to access the inaccessible. Because this stronghold portal here will take us to somewhere that, oh, we don't know where it is. It's not on the map. <laughs> no topographic. Mm. It's it's a sacred hidden place. It's the Kokiri Temple. This hidden room, accessible only by extraordinary means, houses our most sacred relics. Only by activating a portal controlled by a tree of artifacts can one gain access to this secret location. Whoa! It's like we're walking straight into Psychonauts, dude. This is why it's a stronghold, because there's something special in here. And if there's something special in here, that means there's something powerful guarding it. Like the Morph Ball. No, we already got the Morph Ball. Well, why not a second one? Just in case we, we don't need it. a second Morph Ball, we, we already lose have- it. We have the one! We might lose it! We're not gonna lose the Morph Ball! But that's a big tower. All right, shoot the tower. So I don't like the bosses in this game too much. Kratophid. A lot of them are, uh... Bad? Cycle-based. <laughs> oh, no. So for this one, uh, you, you, you gotta shoot at the eyes when they're blue. So it's gonna take a while is what you're telling me. It's gonna, it's gonna take a couple of minutes, I'm afraid. That's okay. So when you shoot all of, all of them, he shows up, and that's the only time when he's vulnerable, but he's also shooting at you. And I'm out of missiles. Well... Uh, Fortunately, time. as you blow up some of these eyes, you'll get health and missiles back. And man, boy am I glad they did not uh, go with the limited ammunition for the power beam. Yeah, no kidding. Still wondering why that was a decision for the demo. The thing is, he only appears so often. Don't and like we, that. He's dying pretty quickly, I'll give that. And when he does that, uh, that, that, like, ring explosion, that means, okay, phase over, onto the next one. So, if you were to shoot him a whole bunch, mm -hmm. but not trigger that, he, he goes back into his hole and you gotta do this whole thing over again. And then he comes back out and you shoot him, then he explodes, then you go into the next phase. It is not not great. Maddening. Not not oh, great. No. Yeah, not great. Don't love it. Not a great fan. That's one of the things where I say best Metroid game. Oh no no nowhere near. Is this really called the best Metroid game? Oh god no. Okay cool. You scared me there for a second. I don't think anybody calls it that, but I don't think anybody calls this the worst Metroid game either. Good job on destroying the Tower of Eyeballs. There, that wasn't so bad. In its wake, you leave, uh, one of the crystals from Link to the Past? This is a Kokiri Temple. Wow, Nintendo really can't let go of Zelda. Uh, get that. Let's get some health back. Well, hopefully it teleports us straight to our ship. Yeah, hopefully. What is this anyway? It's an octolith. One of the eight octoliths. Yes, one of the eight octoliths. Oh my god. Never change, Nintendo. Never change. This isn't quite the ultimate power they were talking about, but uh, it's probably related to it. There, cool. there are eight octoliths in the game. That was 
right. If you get all eight of them, then you can go into the final bit of the game. Oh my god. But the thing is, the hunters are after your octoliths. Mini bosses. And people don't like it when you take their octoliths. Meaning, revenge plot. What? This place is probably gonna get locked down or blow up or something like that something like or that, yeah. make it so that way I'm dead if I don't get out of here in eight minutes. Out of the entire stage? Out of the entire stage, I have to backtrack eight minutes. It's Warrior Land 4, basically. Oh, nice. Hurry up! <laughs> oh, God, so this means... Can you take the portal straight to your ship? Ha! No. Nice try, but no. Too easy. Too easy. The, the, the power's been shut down. See that that's been turned off. It even says switch is not receiving power because Great. there's a security breach. Someone could take that to get their ship and get away. Oh, get wow. Don't get away. So instead, we just trap the people who are trying to steal things in the building and then blow it up. So, you now have an octolith. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means you've got a big old bullseye on your back. That means you've got one of the set of eight Dragon Balls. For ultimate power. For ultimate power. That means the other hunters are onto you. Turn me into Gold Samus. So, if you're in a level mm -hmm. where you have a hunter uh, encounter that you have not uh, finished yet, and you die, that hunter will take your Octolith. What? You can lose your Octoliths if you die. Oh shit, really? And if you lose your Octoliths, you just have to find the associated hunter, find him, kill him, and take it back. Wow! That's actually a neat, uh, a neat part of the game. Be because these hunters are fucking slimy bastards, not like the, the true uh, Federation-trained warriors uh, princess that we are. So, they don't play nice. We're the only ones who can really get the Olympic uh, uh, Octolith, basically. Because you got the special Chozo tech and the skills and, like, the power and all that. Because we fucking rock. We're fucking Samus Aran. That's how we roll. We're awesome. That is such a cool mechanic, actually. So when, it, so when we do get an Octolith, everybody knows about it, and everybody wants to get it. So we're gonna get an increasingly large target on our backs. Until we start killing some hunters, and start taking their weapons. Oh, cool. I can't wait for Caden to come back so we can steal his weapon. So, yeah. Some oh. good ideas. It's not just the same typical... Not, not, not the same old song and dance of Metroid Prime. It's its own little thing. That just changes how the game goes a little bit. But it, it works out. It works yeah, out. Yeah, it works out. Again, I'm not hating this. It's just... Odd. Just, not, not what I'm used to. You, yeah, you're, you're used to better. We've had Metroid Dread, I know. How can you go back? How can anybody go back after Metroid Dread? I don't know, but here we are. Yeah, you did. You went back to Metroid Prime and had a good time. So if I come back to Metroid Dread again, shit. Platforming be damned. Oh, there's a new one. Or just a green one. It's it's a green one, but the log note of the Psychobit 1.0 mentions this, so that counts as a Psychobit 1.0. Just with a oh, just with a bigger just a gun green on tint. It. With a bigger gun on it too. More pew pew. See, I don't like how they did the scanning. It's just not as good. You work with what you got, apparently. Doesn't seem like they had much to go on, because Retro took all the design documents with them after Prime One and I, Two. I don't know about that, because they said special thanks. They wanted to make their own, though. They've always wanted to make their own. You know, you know Nintendo, they're never satisfied with uh, something that Americans or Westerners make. Like, mm. the, like when Rare made Donkey Kong Country, they're just like, Oh, Donkey Kong Country looks stupid. They weren't satisfied with that? Miyamoto was kind of meh about it. They made three of them. They made three of them, though, and they did fine. But but initially, the first one, they were kind of meh about it. Nose up at it. Just a, uh, oh my god. It's boring, it's slow, it's dumb, what kind of hit, whatever. Kind of babies, really. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there evil comes. Dead, ah! Here he comes! Shoot the snake! So, this is a guardian. Oh. This is not so much a hunter, it's so much a, a uh... Adversary. A, it's, it's something Olympic in nature 
that says, hey, 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 hey. She's got a fucking octolith. So we have hunters, we have guardians. Is there anything else? Does does this guy's pet dog want to want to go at us? Well, I mean, there's uh, d d we've got the Olympic uh, things coming after us. We got the drones coming after us. We've got uh, the the hunters the, after us. We, we got the fauna coming after us. Yeah. Hunters, of course. Got little insects coming uh, after us. Got bad controls coming after us. So uh, yeah. Surprisingly, Microsoft Sam is after us. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I'm going to hurt you and kill you. Go swa swa swa. <laughs> so uh, let's let's get out of here. Luckily, the countdown doesn't go when you're in the ship, so you can just slot ship and oh, get the fuck God. out of here. Next time on Metroid Prime Hunters, a new area. Oh, my God.